buying Robux. I have a great idea. Click on the amount of Robux you are about to buy. Click here and enter my star code Sunny. Welcome back to my channel and today I am super duper excited for today's video. It is a little bit different but it's still a very exciting video. Today we are looking at updates that could possibly be coming into Adopt Me. I know the title of the video is that I became the owner of Adopt Me for 24 hours and if I was here's what I would add. However, before we get started, if you guys see your dream pets in my inventory, all you guys have to do is like, subscribe and comment down below your username as well as your dream pet. So, we will be reacting to this YouTuber called Forever Sparkles. She used to make videos around three years ago now. And I remember watching her videos and I used to wish these updates came into Adopt Me. Obviously, I wasn't famous three years ago, so I couldn't show you guys. But today, I'll be sharing these ideas with you guys. Here she is. I'll link her channel down below in the description. If I developed for Adopt Me. Okay, let's have a look. Trade cash for items. <gasps> That's such a good idea. I know when some people say they're trying to sell their pets to people and then they just scam them for their bucks but that's an amazing update and the fact that you can add as many bucks as you want is even better i mean you still can trade bucks for pets however there's a huge problem with this i'm buying this 10 dollar lemonade and i'm gonna buy it three times and when i want to buy it one more time it's not gonna let me i think adopt me added this so you won't get scammed for lots and lots of bucks but still when i want to transfer some bucks to my alt account it does get pretty annoying so this update would be really great favorite tabs oh we already have favorite tabs actually this looks a little bit more different to be fair but it actually kind of looks similar i just realized misty isn't favorited let's go ahead and favorite her and here she is in our favorite tabs they're all highlighted in gold which i think is quite nice because i mean they are our favorite pets but one thing i don't really like about this new favorite tabs update is when the new favorite tabs update came out to adopt me you had to keep your pet pressed for it to come out of your inventory however before the favorite tabs update update you only had to click on the pet on your inventory once for it to come out and i like that better more people per server oh my good yes wow 70 people currently it is 48 and i love more people per server because then i could ask more fans to join me but then i'm pretty sure more people means it's gonna be more laggy if you guys would ever like to meet me there's some adopt me trading servers where i'm sometimes in they're all linked in my group sunny x misty check your trade history well we already have this so it looks like she can predict the future we already have a trade history now and you have to do this little test to get it i find the test kind of annoying because whenever i make a new account to transfer all my pets into i then have to take this trade licensing test oh the school updated okay let's see this new school i'm excited oh okay this is nice i think she made it by like it's a house and then she decorated it this is the current school and i feel like we've just had the same school for about i don't know i think two years now and i would love a new change because this school has been looking the same for a little bit too long i mean the only thing that's actually changed is emma she's the new school principal now it used to be new for z but i don't know where he went a free daily spin oh my god yes definitely this is a very very good idea wow look what you can get you can get some honey which is actually a robux item so that kind of makes it better for the people that don't have any robux a lot of games like adopt me has these daily spins and i do think adopt me has something very similar for example the task board where you do tasks and then you win bucks it's not that similar but it's kind of similar because you do get some bucks if pets could die and adopt me oh my god pets drowning let's have a look at this <gasps> panic drown and the regular drown oh no the blue dog you will never understand the amount of times where i'm walking over here or making a video and misty just goes in the water and starts drowning she's not doing it right now probably because she's being recorded but trust me she does and I don't have my driver's license in real life or in Adopt Me, so this usually happens. Well, humans can't drown in Adopt Me, but if pets can drown, then goodbye Misty, I guess. Driving over pets. Oh my god, I feel like every single pet would have died at least once. You have killed a pet, teleport to the hospital and save it. <gasps> you can save it, that's so adorable. I'm a bad driver, so I'll have to save lots of pets. In Adopt Me, I'm just minding my own business until this person, this really annoying person, gets their traveling house and starts running me over with it. Running me and my pet over. And if this update truly existed, my pet would be dead. 
Dead pet section and backpack. Oh no, all the pets that I've killed are probably going to be haunting me. It's a dog and it died because of drowning. That's so sad. If pets could actually die and adopt me, I would love a dead pets tab. But honestly, there's no room for it. Pets burning. Ooh. Oh no, the parrot's dying. It's burning. How do we save it? Most of my pet's favorite food is marshmallows, toasted marshmallows. So when I want to feed it to them, then um, sometimes this happens. Um, they're eating the marshmallow, but they're also eating the fire. Safe to say my pets would be dead. Pets dying. Well, isn't that the whole point of this video? Do you want to save your pet for 350 Robux? Your pet has 30 seconds to live. Only 30 seconds? What's the point of that? Unless you have to save it in time. See my 90k Robux? It would all be gone if I had to keep saving pets. If I worked for Adopt Me, new houses. Oh my god, we need new houses. I mean, we do regularly have some new houses. I mean, look at this plastic palace. This is really good. But so far, I feel like none of the houses kind of match my personality. So I feel like we'll need some new ones. But these look really, really good. My favorite house is probably the VIP house. And don't mind how I have not decorated it yet. I don't decorate my houses because I feel like it takes way too much time. But one thing I really love about this house is that it's different to other houses because this one has a elevator. And as you can see, you can basically select the floor by clicking on E and then you'll be able to go to any floor that you want. Let's do the cinema. And even the cinema is different because I know there's a cinema in the Millionaire Mansion house, but I don't really like that one that much. I like this one so much better. Updated gifts every month. Ooh, let's see some of these updated gifts. Wow, skateboards. That's really, really cool. I think Adopt Me does pretty good with updating gifts. They don't do it every month, but they do do it once in a while. Like, I have never seen these before. However, I have seen the imaginary box for a very, very long time now. And I'd love some brand new legendaries. And did you guys know, in 2017, this, the legendary you could get out of the gift, used to be a carriage. This one, but now it costs 1,499 Robux. More color options. Oh, yes, definitely. The colors are kind of limited, which I don't really like that much, but this is really good. Wow. There's a color wheel and a color scale. Nice. Hold two pets at once. Oh my god, yes, we need this idea. It would be so much easier to level up and age up pets. Sometimes Misty gets kind of bored, so then I decide to take out a new friend for her. For example, maybe Listy. Listy's one of her best friends. But then Misty disappears, and it's just Listy. Now she's the one that's going to be bored. So this update would be very useful. Make chicks tradable. Well, it's actually already tradable, which is really amazing. Oh, and the eggs as well. But this already exists. However, she did make this in 2020. That was like two or three years ago. And at that time, chicks were not tradable. And guys, look. Last year, I made this video hatching my Easter 2020 egg. That's me. Yes, the clown. And you will not believe it. Just a day after I made this video, the eggs ended up becoming tradable. Oh, and the chicks. But the eggs were way more rarer than the chicks. And I was so annoyed because I could have got really good offers. But at least we got 600,000 views. Thank you so much. Oh my god, I don't even have a chick. But Sunny X Misty does, so she just gave us a chick, which is good. Oh my god, it's so adorable and cute. More cash from paychecks. Oh yes, definitely. Wow, 3,000? I think that's very unlikely. Currently, it's 20 bucks, which I don't think is a loss at all. So I think it should be at least 50 or 75 or maybe even 100. More star rewards. <gasps> yes, that's like a really good idea because we have had the same star rewards for such a long time. I mean, look at this Cupid dragon and the pet rock. Hey, the pet rock was from April Fool's. But there's a robot egg and a flying carpet. Yeah, that's really cool. And I do think that they definitely need to update the star rewards. It looks like this, but I've seen this since 2020. Trading houses? <gasps> that would make my life so much easier because I do not know how to build properly and this would be so good. If you could get the inside interior design and everything, like everything they built inside the house, that would be amazing. Guys, this probably has to be one of my favorite updates. Some of the really, really good houses actually cost Robux, which is a shame because some people that don't have Robux cannot buy these. And I think it'd be really amazing if you could trade these Robux houses to them for some pets or something like that. I'd be giving loads of Robux houses away. Adopt me in a hundred years. Trade furniture. Yeah, I'm not too stunned by it. It's not an update that I want. I mean, it's an idea, but I don't think it's a very fun update that has that much point to it. So I don't really like 
want this to come like i don't really mind if it does but i don't really care about this update that much win prizes when completing obbies oh my god we need this in adopts me because people don't really use the obbies that much because it doesn't really give you anything but if you could get prizes from obbies i know lots of people would be doing obbies wow a diamond dog and a flamingo float that's so cool I don't really remember what you can get from the obbies now. I remember you used to be able to get bucks, but sadly not anymore. So let's have a look at what these obbies give us. So let's go to this ancient ruins one because I'm sure this is one of the easiest. I'm actually pretty good at obbies, I can't lie, as you can see clearly. I mean, this is the easy obby, obviously, but I find obbies super duper fun. And if you could win prizes for them, oh my god, this would be my new favorite place in adopts me guys i see the finish let's go and let's see what we can get from these obbies i'm so excited oh we got a badge is that it um i think that's it so you don't get anything apart from a badge which is still pretty cool i guess remove people in your family i would love this update and it would be so helpful because if i could remove people that'd be amazing Basically, when I want to give a fan their dream pet and I family them so then they can teleport to me, other people send that fan a family request as well. And then the family becomes so big and they all start teleporting to me. And it's so crowded and hard to manage. Purchase history. Well, that's pretty cool. I think this is where you can see what you purchased and stuff. Wow, that's really nice. I'll be real with you, that's pretty good and then you can obviously make a track on what you bought and stuff like that but it's not something that definitely needs to come into Adopt Me but other people may disagree Adopt Me update ideas Alright, let's see Neon potion <gasps> A neon potion and the blue dog turns neon, right? Oh wow We have loads of potions but we sadly do not have a neon potion or a mega neon potion but Adopt Me actually did once say that they're never gonna add a neon potion or a mega neon potion otherwise instead of four pets you'll only need one pet and then you can just make it drink the potion and then soon neon pets will go very down in value so I can totally agree with why Adopt Me does not want to add it into Adopt Me more pets well this was in 2020 so maybe they didn't have that many pets at that time but now they have loads and loads of pets and guys i just realized something do you guys see this golden chow chow right over there this update launched in 2022 it kind of looks similar to this dog and she made this design in 2020 oh my god i feel like this girl can read the future or something be a pet <gasps> i know this used to be a very big thing and people used to role play as their pets that was actually really fun and i think this would be really cool but you know if you guys do want to role play as your pet i have a little trick for you well first of all we have to be a baby then take out the pet that you would want so obviously i'm doing misty and what you can do is you're gonna stand behind your pet click on dress up oh no our pet is sleeping okay we'll need to put this to sleep first and then we'll have to do this thing because it does not work when it's sleeping trust me let's jump around meanwhile okay perfect it's finished sleeping so first of all you're gonna write what you want your pet to say so let's just say hi click on dress up then click on show my pet and look your pet's talking now new login rewards we need this because we've had the same login rewards for such a long time it's always been like this and it hasn't really changed send letters to your friends oh that's really sweet let's look at how this update works so you have a letter happy birthday you're my best friend have a nice day <gasps> that's so sweet but can't you just teleport to your friend and then say happy birthday i'm kidding that's kind of boring and i do really like the update idea adopts me in the future trade game passes oh my god this would make the game so much better and fun to play this would be really nice for people that don't like spending their robux or don't even have any robux which is really sad basically most of the game passes that are actually pretty good they cost robux for example the vip it costs 750 robux to be in vip and if you could trade game passes everyone would have a chance sell your items yes i have so many duplicates of pets and i don't really need them and it's really hard to trade them so if i could sell them for bucks i'd get some money and i'd have a nice clean inventory as well for example look how many king bees i have they're really hard to trade and i'd love to sell these for bucks get a job we already have this in adopts me which is nice or you can be a worker the jobs update is something lots of people used to ask for and then i think last year they did add it into the game you can work at a pizza place and the hairdressers honestly i wish there was more places you could work 
VIP room updated. All right. Well, we actually already had the VIP room updated, which is really nice because I really like the new VIP room. And before it used to be a bit basic. This is the old VIP room, and this is the new one, which I really like. As you can see, even the entrance is super duper fancy. You can adopt Chow Chows. There's also the old egg, and there's also a really cool balcony. So I really do like. Oh, you can get food as well here that's really nice and i really do like this new vip room make server announcements um it's a nice idea but i feel like lots of people would abuse this a lot and it would be really annoying if adopt me had levels so not only levels for pets but for us as well so this one is free prizes when you level up so oh she's in level 28 she gets the pastel dot this candy house and a fly potion wow that's really nice unlock new faces oh my gosh yes that's a really good idea wow look at these faces they're so unique and really nice these are the premium faces that adobe made and it costs 199 robux to buy and i actually really like these i just didn't buy it because i wouldn't really wear these milestone rewards okay let's have a look wow look at these different things these are really nice that's a great idea higher paychecks depending on your level <gasps> twenty five thousand bucks oh my gosh you know honestly that's not a bad idea adopt me in a thousand years view people's wish lists then you could ask them what their dream pets is and everything oh this girl has a nice wish list this would really help so then i don't have to ask people what their dream pet is or usually they put it in their name for example dream pet mega bat dragon but then i don't really like putting it on my name because then it just looks a bit messy and i'd rather have a wish list furniture storage what's that oh i think i know it's where you like store your furniture that's a great idea otherwise usually you just have to sell it sometimes when i decide to build my house i want to like put something away for example this chair but i don't want to sell it because you have to sell it for zero dollars even though i bought it for full price sometimes to get rid of it i don't want to sell it otherwise i'm just gonna get zero bucks and honestly having a furniture storage would be so amazing so then it would just stay in there and it wouldn't really disrupt my house pick who can teleport to you that is a very handy update I love my friends, but sometimes when I'm making a video, they just randomly teleport to me and then I have to cut this bit out. Also, I did see that there is an option where everyone can teleport to you. That's actually kind of cool. I would love to see that in Adopt Me. New pet needs. Oh my gosh. It's reading and it's in the toilet break. I feel like the only needs that I just keep getting is it's hungry, it's sleepy, it's dirty, and sometimes it needs to go camping. If I was hired by Adopt Me, free start gift. Ooh, okay. Is this a pet donut? That is so adorable. I actually think that Adopt Me should add pet foods now because this donut is so adorable. Oh my god. I mean, when you start Adopt Me, they do give you a starter egg. Look, guys, I already have my starter egg. And it could give you a dog or a cat. So I think that's pretty good. And look, it's thirsty right now. We won't be hatching it because I want to keep the starter egg forever. Wishlist checklist. Oh, this is kind of like the wishlist that we saw on the previous update. I think this is a nice update. New refreshment stand. <gasps> a boba stand and a cookie stand. Look at these two. Oh my god, that's so amazing. I'm pretty sure the current stands are only the hot dog stand and the lemonade stand. And there is also a cotton candy stand that I don't have yet. But the cotton candy stand is probably my favorite. Here it is. I don't know why I haven't bought it yet. Let's just buy it right now. But oh my god, this is probably my favorite stand because it's nice and pink and it's nice and unique. It's, I mean, it's cotton candy, so obviously. A new candy shop. Oh, that's an amazing idea look at all these chocolates and candies that you can get that's amazing i would love this shop to come into adopt me i think this is so cool i love the ice cream shop the coffee shop the pizza shop but honestly a candy shop would be even cooler anyways guys that was it for today's video if you guys enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe and also comment down below what update you'd like to see in adopt me bye everybody